What's good, Fishaholics? Just actually getting off the water now. It's a little after 12 p.m. and I'm actually heading to class. But I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, crack of dawn, fished four different spots. Three I got the skunk. And well, the fourth spot, well, I guess I'll, you're gonna have to wait and see, you know, until you watch to find out how I did at the last spot. But uh, I'm tired. And did I, men did I mention I have to go to class now? Dang. Uh, but. Anyway, I'm probably going to be fishing down the South Shore this weekend. Hopefully, do some surf casts and catch some stripers, and maybe get the get the yak out a couple times, catch some tog or catch some some yak bass. But hey, I'm making videos, and the fishing's picking up. So I hope you guys are fishing. All right, let's catch some fish. First day, I guess, searching for fresh stripers in the bay for the 2017 season. Kind of time crunching today. Don't have a lot of time to try and find some fish and catch some fish. But uh, I'm going to do my best and probe around a little bit. Finally, the weather is like kind of clearing up. I mean, it's still rainy and misty and, you know, a little cloudy out. But uh, the last couple days, it's been nonstop raining, and the water's high, water's murky, and I'm kind of looking for stripers right now in a little calm pocket area here. Yeah, I got an outgoing tide, and over to the left of me, where the main stream of the uh, current is, it's just loaded with garbage, debris, really dirty water. So that's what brought me over to this little... Oh, there he is, fish on. There we go. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Sometimes you got to read the water to try and find fish. And that's pretty much what I did. And boom, first fish of the morning. Not Obviously not a giant, but... This is the first, first little striper, fresh striper, up here in the bay of the 2017 season. Got him on the little bass assassin's she shad. You know, that's my new little favorite little swim bait. The stripers are small right now, so it's kind of key to use, you know, a small little swim bait to find some fish. And then, now that I caught my first fish, maybe I'll try and, you know, see if they're kind of holding in this area. And then maybe switch to something a little bit bigger and try and connect with a larger fish. Seems like the fish are pretty much right on schedule. Oh, there he is. Another one. <laughs> okay, this one's a little bit larger. Feels a little bit larger. Or he's just got some attitude. Yeah, these fish are right on schedule. Okay, here we go. There's some larger fish here. Easy, buddy. There we go. A little bit of an upgrade. See you later, buddy. Yeah, these fish are just hanging out right in this clean pocket, of, you know, pocket of water. Clean, calm, and they're probably just cruising along the bank looking for, you know, little bait fish or, you know, clams, sea worms. Huh. Well, it seems like maybe the bite died or, you know, maybe now that the sun's coming out, you know, the fish are moving off or just not feeding anymore, going somewhere else. I already worked back and forth here like three or four times without having another bite after I caught my last fish. Whoa! Oh geez, this is a nice fish here guys. Really nice fish. No way. No way. This ain't no schoolie here guys. Ain't no schoolie. Did not expect this either. Really didn't expect this. Jesus. 
Haven't had a bite in like 20 minutes. I thought the bite was completely gone. This is a nice fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, biggest bay striper of the season by far. Oh yeah, stay on there, baby. Oh yeah. Stay on there, stay on there. Oh, he has a follower too, he had a follower. Nice fresh fish, easy, probably just borderline keeper right there. Whew, nice fish. So awesome right there. I totally did not expect to catch like a borderline keeper this morning. You know, the conditions were just, you know, not really lining up for me to catch a fish like that. I mean, I was catching a couple schoolies as soon as I got here and then the sun came out a little bit and uh, I didn't get a touch for about 30 minutes and then I moved about a hundred yards down the beach and I took five casts and boom, you know, nailed that fish. All right, I think I'm just about done. I can't feel my toes, I'm running out of time. I gotta go get some food and then have enough time to finish up some homework and get to class on time. But uh, yeah, all my fish this morning came on this little Bass Assassin Sea Shad. I'll put you know, the whole little rig here down in the description. And uh, definitely pick up this bait if you're looking to try and get into some early season, you know, striped bass action. And then uh, don't forget to check out the description for, you know, my rod and my reel and uh, the whole setup basically that I'm using. And uh, yeah, you know, I hope you guys are looking forward, uh, you know, j just as much as I am to, uh, to a lot more fishing videos and just a lot more fishing period for, in general for everyone. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys out on the water next time.